When you live in a small apartment or house, there are going to be some challenges. One of them is storage, and learning how to utilize this small space is key. Welcome to Jensen's DIY, and these are 23 storage hacks for small space living. 1. Floating shelves often make their way onto lists like these. It's because they are a great idea that will help make room for certain items. You can buy multiple colors and styles of floating shelves to place on your walls. This will be a stylish way of storing your possessions while making room of your floor for bigger furniture. 2. When it comes to utilizing space in your bedroom, there's no reason not to use the space underneath your bed. In either clear containers or even a rolling drawer, you can place items that you normally wouldn't have room for. Say you have a large winter coat and it's the summer. Now you can place that coat under the bed and leave room in your closet for more. 3. This takes number 2 just a little further. There are some really gorgeous bed options that include drawers underneath the bed. Instead of simply placing items of clothing under your bed, use the drawers already in the frame to pack stuff away. If you have the means to buy one, it's a good investment for making the most out of your small space. 4. Keeping within the bedroom, and the bed specifically, add a trunk at the end of the bed for storage. Not only will it look elegant, you can also buy one with cushions to sit on top while taking your shoes off. You can place spare comforters in your trunk or pillows when you are not displaying them. When it's time to make your bed, everything you need is right there. 5. This is just as much a storage idea as it is an organizational idea. When you put dividers in your closet, you are making everything neater. When everything is neater, it is easier to store your clothing and other items away. It also makes it easier to find something, rather than mindlessly throwing everything in and not knowing where it ended up. 6. A great little trick for being able to store more clothes in your closet is doubling your hangers. You don't have an endless amount of room on the clothing rod in your closet, so make up for that by doubling up your hangers. This way you are doubling up what you can hang up and not have to stuff anything into drawers that doesn't belong there. 7. This is a great storage and organizational idea. You have a lot of shoes, but you don't want them to be thrown all over the place. You also don't want them to take up any room at the bottom of your closet. Haven't you ever reserved yourself to thinking, I'm never finding the match to this shoe? You don't need that stress when it comes to using a cubby to store your shoes in. They'll be organized and readily accessible when it's time to leave the house. 8. If you're an avid cook, or even if you aren't, you're going to have pots and pans that are going to take up valuable space in your cabinets. By hanging up your pots and pans, you get all of those bulky items out and allow for more room for other items in your kitchen. Also, hanging your pots and pans look great. They will be a real eyepiece for your guests. 9. When it comes to your kitchen, you already don't have a lot of room. If you're living in a small space, then you have less. By installing a fold-up table that presses against the wall when you aren't using it, you are freeing up valuable walking space. It's easy to pull down when you need it, and it's easy to put away when you don't. 10. In a small bedroom, you don't want to sacrifice a workstation if your job sometimes follows you home. Instead of taking up a lot of room in your bedroom, install a fold-up desk. Sure, you can use your laptop, but this causes neck pains and isn't safe to always have on your laptop. Use this idea for a smart use of storage. 11. If you have children, they are going to want to play with their toys during their bath time. But what do you do with Junior's favorite rubber ducky when it's not bath time? Place a basket in the bathroom for all of your child's favorite playtime toys so that when it is time for the bath, their toys are within reach, as well as being neatly put away. 12. For many, animals are someone's child. If you have a cat or dog, remember that they like to play too. You probably know this, so you also know that their toys can be tossed everywhere. Add some semblance of organization. Place a treasure chest in your living room to put in their toys when they're not being used. 13. This should be one of the essential tools to add more storage to your mission of adding more storage to your home. Instead of having your shoes piled up on the floor, hang a shoe organizer on the inside door to stuff your shoes in. 
keep them off the floors and organize your shoes neatly so you never lose one again. 14. For your kitchen, you need all the room you can get. So why would you crowd your cabinets up with all of your spices? Instead, place a floating spice rack on your wall. This way you can store your spices away from your cabinets and have them within reach for when you are asking for your next best meal. 15. A personal favorite of mine, the kitchen island comes in all different shapes and sizes. Not only can you get one in any color you want, you can choose to have one with wheels or without wheels. Use a kitchen island not only to store pots, pans, and dishes. Then, you can use the top of a kitchen island for extra counter space to cook on. 16. For your bathroom, you aren't given a lot of natural storage. You have a sink, toilet, and bathtub, and you are really supposed to figure out the rest. By buying a cabinet to rest against the wall over the toilet, you can store your toilet paper and towels too. This can also store your tissues and feminine sanitary napkins if need be. 17. If you run out of room in your closet, don't fret. You don't need to get rid of any other clothes. You just need to buy yourself a detached clothes rack. Hang the items of clothing you wear the most for easy access. Also, for the true fashionista, you can make your bedroom look like a warehouse. This is an easy way to add more places to hang your clothing from. 18. If you are truly running out of room for your clothes, you may as well look to store clothes away that you don't wear all of the time. If you have a garage, you can pack your clothes away in a bin on top shelves in the garage or store them away in a public storage unit for safekeeping. 19. In preparation for laundry day, don't keep your laundry bag in the corner on the floor. Get that bag up off the floor and hang your laundry bag up on the door. This way you are freeing up space on your floor and keeping it out of the way until you are ready to do the laundry. 20. Where do you store your belts or scarves? You don't want to stuff them in a drawer where they can become messy and tangled. Instead, hang your belts and scarves to have them neatly put up and can be easy to grab. You can either hang them on a hanger or install hooks to hang them from. 21. As with scarves and belts, where do you store your mail? We don't all sift through mail the second we get it. We often toss them down on the table and forget about them for days. This is messy and can pile up. By getting a drawer and hanging up on the wall, you can place your mail in it to neatly store it until you get to it. 22. Just like having a trunk at the end of your bed, you can have a bench in your hallway where you can store items such as throw pillows in. And you can then use the bench to sit on to put your shoes on and take them off. This can look like a stylish piece of furniture while also serving a purpose. 23. Just like spices, mugs take up a lot of room in your cabinets. In order to free up space in your cabinets, you can hang your mugs. This will be a great display for all of your favorite mugs, while also being practical about your storing. Use your cabinets for more when you store your mugs. And don't worry about where you are going to fit all of your colorful cups. And that's all for now. What do you think about this episode? Please share your thoughts about this video in the comments section. For more decorating and organizing ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.